Hi, my name is Aris. If you don't know me, on this YouTube channel, I take you with me on all of my adventures. Since the COVID pandemic, I have decided to truly live unconfined by going on as many adventures as possible. The first thing I did was to drop everything and quit my job in Belgium to move to Barcelona with my girlfriend. Then I started this YouTube channel as a commitment to myself to start living a life worth telling about. So thanks for joining and let's see how that goes. It has been 10 months now since my big move to Barcelona and I'm not sure I've really created a story-worthy life. Obviously, Barcelona is an amazing place and it does not really suck. If I'm being honest with myself, the problem is probably me. I live in one of Europe's most exciting cities but I spend all of my time inside. So nothing to really write a movie about. But why is that? Honestly, I'm not sure. I mean, I know why I like to stay inside. Frederica and I spend quite a lot of time, energy, and frankly money to make our apartment as comfortable as possible. But why is it now that I hate doing the things I've always do been doing before? Why is it ever since I moved to Barcelona, I feel terrible when I just stay inside and don't do anything? So I've been asking myself that question for the past month now, every day. And I think I came out with three potential answers. One would be working from home every day is not for me. To give you a bit of context, I came here to Barcelona. I don't know anyone here. I was really hoping on meeting more of my colleagues during the week, try to build up some new relationships, but we all work every day from home, so don't get, really get the opportunity to do that. So maybe that's one answer. Or it's because ever since I've moved here, I haven't really made new friends. Of course you're gonna tell me, well, if you stay inside all the time, how the hell are you gonna make friends? And I think you're right, 100% right. The third option, and I really don't want it to be that option because that's gonna be the hardest one to work on, is, is my mom right? And do I spend too much time on my phone? Well, the reality is probably a mix of all three options, but I do find there's an underlying theme. I spend too much time inside. So there should be an easy fix for this, right? I should just go outside. But where do I go? So I'm trying to take a picture with a view, but there's so many people staring at me. So I thought I'll just give you a look at how I look when I try to take that picture alone with my tripod. All right, I set the timer. Run. Okay, good. One, two, three. All right, not bad. Okay, I have to pause because there was some glitch with my new microphone and its connection with the GoPro, so the sound sounded like this. So during my journey of living a life... So I'm just gonna do this voiceover to tell you the most interesting part of this video, which is, well, during my journey of living a life worth telling about, I want to force myself to go outside and explore. And I want to bring you with me on all of my adventures. So every week on Sunday, you can expect an update on that project of mine in the form of a new episode on my channel. For now, I want to explore Barcelona and its hidden gems. So make sure to tune in every week if you want to discover some of these places for your next visit. Today, I want to start this new series with one of Barcelona's most unique places and worst kept secrets, Bunkers del Carmel. This place was built during the Spanish Civil War in 1937 and the bunkers were used as a defense against attacks from the fascists. When the Civil War was over, the guns were retired, but the bunkers remained. As the years went on, the bunkers became somewhat of a small town known as the Cannons neighborhood and hosted 7% of Barcelona's population. When Barcelona was awarded the 1992 Olympic Games, the Barcelona City Council decided to rehouse all the residents living in the bunkers. Now it has become one of the locals' favorite spots to come enjoy the sunset with some friends sharing beers and snacks. And for photo enthusiasts like me, it's also a great spot for some unique shots of the city skyline with the sea in the background.
yeah, Barcelona doesn't suck, but it did make me realize that I didn't like my lifestyle of always spending time at home, watching the same shows. So I realize I'm probably not the only one that feels that way, especially after the two weird years we've had with the coronavirus and the lockdown situation, where we've spent so much time and energy building a comfort zone. But now when we were trying to get out, it seems so difficult. But okay, let's all do this together and go outside, go explore. All right, I hope you like this mini adventure. Next week, we'll go walk around Barcelona a bit more. So subscribe for more. See ya.